Welcome back to Southgate Stables. I'm pleased to be joined by Ryan Kavanagh. Ryan, for your route into racing, I do believe you were trained to be an electrician during lockdown, but like most people, lockdown, it sort of allowed people to reassess their, their situation and you, you moved to Amy's. Yeah, like the electrician, it was sort of just a choice coming out of school, like I needed something to do and it looked like a good career path that, that could have taken me somewhere, but it wasn't really what I wanted to do. It was more of just a backup and coming into racing was just sort of a fluke, I guess. Um, just falling into the workplace and then falling in love with the horses. And just how helpful have Amy and Lemos been to you? You said it wasn't not always a plan to move into racing, but just how much of a good guide has Lemos and also Amy been to you since you've been oh, here? Oh, they've been amazing. Like, I mean, I came here knowing nothing. So for them to sort of even just let me be in the yard and work for them was, was a massive help at the start. But then from there, they've just taken me under their wing and sort of pushed me every day and pushed me a little bit further. Um, and like still today, I'm learning so much from them and they're still willing to help me. As, as shown, like I've had 14, 14 rides already, 13 for Amy, and they, they keep coming every every week. So, so yeah, like they're a massive help. And sticking with the stable staff, you won an award at the Godolphin Stable Staff Awards. They're such an important night just to recognise the people who work hard behind the scenes. But for you to win that award, it must have been a, a, a great sense of achievement for you. Yeah, like, I mean, it's amazing to win the award. But like I said to everyone here, I wouldn't have been there without them. Like, that, that award sort of, for me, represented the whole yard. So... It wasn't just my hard work, but it was also their work helping me improve every day. Um, but I was just there to, to sort of show that. I want to talk about your first one at Yarmouth aboard Rakita as well. It was one of those races where you went off in front and they just didn't seem to be able to catch you. It must have been a fantastic feeling going past that line, knowing you've had your first career winner. Yeah, well, it felt a bit weird coming past because I couldn't, I couldn't hear any of the other horses. I thought something had gone wrong in the race. But no, like, I mean, it came so quick in my career and I still had loads to learn. But yeah, it was, it was amazing. But... She, she's a great horse as well. She's in, I've ridden her a few times now and she's every time she's ran a heart out for me. So. And sticking with you for the rest of the season, it's a simple case now of hopefully building experience. Are you sticking around for the winter on your web or would you possibly look to try and maybe go abroad for the winter and learn a, a different side to the racing game? Yeah, that's the plan. Just stay here for the winter because, I mean, I've came with no knowledge. So the, the, like, the, more, the more I do, the better. So, um, yeah, stay around for the winter. That's the plan and hopefully just learn as much as I can. Perfect. Yeah, that's good, Ryan.